Hello students! Welcome back to our science video. For today's lesson, we will discuss a type of chemical bond known as ionic bonding that occurs between a metal and a non-metal. At the end of this video, learners are expected to demonstrate how atoms bond with one another using the Lewis electron dot structure and explain the formation of ionic compounds. Ionic bonding is when metal combined with a non-metal. It is formed when one or more electrons are transferred from one atom to another. Based on the illustration, sodium, a kind of metal, transfer its valence electron which is 1 to chlorine, a kind of non-metal with 7 outer shell electrons. Since sodium loses an electron, it became a positive charge ion, while chlorine gained an electron so it became a negative charge ion. Positive and negative ions attract, holding them together. Both sodium and chlorine needs to attain 8 electrons in their valence shell for it to become stable or unreactive. The attraction in all directions form a lattice. Metal atoms have only a weak hold on their outer shell electrons. In contrast, Non-metallic atoms have a strong hold on their own electrons and tend to remove outer shell electrons from any metal atoms nearby. This causes ions to form. Electrostatic forces pull the positive and negative ions together to form a strong ionic bond. Next examples use the Lewis electron dot structure to show the number of valence electrons present in each atom and to also show the bond formation. Based on the first example, magnesium has a valence electron of 2, while bromine has a valence electron of 7. Bromine only needs 1 electron to have 8 electrons in its outermost shell. Therefore, there would be 2 bromine that will receive 1 electron each coming from the magnesium, forming magnesium bromide, a kind of mild sedative that used as a treatment for nervous disorders. On the second example, potassium has a valence electron of 1, while sulfur has a valence electron of 6. Since sulfur needs 2 electrons to have 8 valence electrons, it needs 2 potassium atoms to become stable. This bond forms potassium sulfide. It is used as a component of pyrotechnics. It is particularly used in Asia to manufacture fireworks. Other examples of ionic compounds are magnesium oxide. It is used as an antacid to treat indigestion or as a laxative to relieve occasional constipation. Next is calcium chloride. It is a premium salt that is used for ice control, road stabilization, dust suppression, and in oil field applications. Third is sodium chloride. It is used to treat or prevent sodium loss caused by dehydration, excessive sweating, or other causes. And lastly is potassium bromide. It is used in human and veterinary medicine as an anti-seizure medication. Here are the list of common cations with variable oxidation numbers or ionic charges. The key to naming ionic compounds with transition metals is to determine the ionic charge on the metal and use Roman numerals to indicate the charge on the transition metal. A nomenclature for distinguishing between the different ions of a metal is to use the suffixes us and ik. The suffix ik will indicate the ion of higher ionic charge while suffix us will indicate the ion of lower ionic charge. These are some examples of ionic compound with metal that has a variable oxidation numbers or ionic charges. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more science educational videos by clicking the notification bell below.